Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to LRS Fishing on the rocks. That's right. Where am I? That's right. I'm back in Anglesey. Um, my wife, <laughs> she's such a good old girl. She uh, treated me to a long weekend of fishing. Um, I'm camping near here, about 10 minutes away, uh, just by myself. Um, I've had a bit of a stressful time of, of it uh, lately. Um, unfortunately, my nan died. My dad had a heart attack and stuff. Um, so I've been a bit stressed out, uh, understandably. And um, my wife thought, you know what, Steve, you need to get away. So she's treated me to a holiday. Uh, just a long weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, go home Sunday. It's quite a nice surprise, really. Um, been a bit keen to get out now. I've got all my fish, every single bit of tackle you could possibly imagine. Okay, but... <laughs> In the excitement of getting down here, I've got all my rods and stuff at the campsite. Um, just left it there by my tent. Um, it's a small little campsite off the road. Um, I'm the only one in there, so I've just thought I'd leave all my gear there. Save me cutting everything around. So I'm just watching the top of my rod. And basically, <laughs> what a clown I am. Right, just bear with me a second. See if you can tell me if you spot the problem. <laughs> right. So, there's one part of my rod. Okay, yeah, bit where the reel goes into. And I bought the other, a different rod. <laughs> I, f I, got, I brought the wrong pieces. What a donut. So I've only got the one rod today, which is just there. Got to keep my eye on it. But I have got a spinning rod. I've bought myself a bit of a weapon. Got myself a conflict inshore 50 gram rod. How about that? Come on. So I'm going to get that out in a minute. But I can't believe it. Usually I fish two or three rods. But um, that's not going to happen now, is it? I'm such a clown, honestly. I just got really excited. Do you know how I'll get? Um, so just the one rod. Uh, squid, mackerel, uh, ragworm, um, black lug. Yeah, I've got a variety of baits. Um, so yeah, but I've got to be careful because this stuff is blooming deadly. This I've got to be dead careful. Now this is a legitimate mark. It's not just I've just climbed down some rocks and hope for the best. Um, the water in here, out here is the best part of 50 foot deep. I'm not too sure of in here, but round here, 50 foot deep, close in, which is brilliant. I love that. So, um, yeah, that's why I came here. I was on the uh, Navionics. I downloaded the Navionics, um, uh, what's it called, app, the Navionics app. And um, you get five, you get a free trial, basically, five goes for free. And so I've, I've been on it over the last few days just seeing what's in front of me, um, depth-wise. And um, I went to the tackle shop, Anglesey Tackle and Bait. Uh, Bumer I can't remember the name. Bumeris, Bumeris, something like that. And um, he said to come here as well. He was like, it's brilliant just here. Uh, you get tremendous depth, um, uh, pollock, uh, bass, um, all the small species, potential wrasse, and also uh, ray. So, um, yeah, uh, smooth hounds, bull huss. So, here I am. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna rig up my lure rod, and I, I'm not gonna be carrying around, I'm not gonna do too much filming, because it, I'm not gonna do too much filming, because it's dead slippy around here. And I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm by myself. Uh, a little bit sketchy. My missus won't be too happy with me if I go and she books me a holiday, trip a trip away for a couple of days, I go and kill myself. <laughs> Leave it with the kids. Flip it out. She won't be too happy. So I've got to be super careful. Um, it's I don't even know what the time is to be honest with you. It's about half four-ish, I think. I've got a bite. I've got a bite. Let me just stand here because that's the deck. I 
don't know if that was a bite. That looked like a bite. Yep, that's going. Right, bear with me, people. Definitely a fish. Hundred percent of fish. I think it was a ray because it was like a heavy object, and then I think I pulled it away from it. I'm, I'm sure that was a fish. It's all ma mangled, and I think it could have been a little ray because um, it was heavy, and I think I've just pulled it away from it, and all, all, it's all tangled up. Look at this. Right, let me get this rebaited and I'll get back to you. What I'm working with this little blue jig, 40 gram, with a nice little attraction feather at the end there, with a really sharp hook. That hook is razor sharp. I've got 30 pound fluorocarbon onto 20 pound braid uh, now you're saying to me Steve what's this rod you've got well here it is let me just show you let me just get down here so it's the conflict inshore lure rod conflict inshore look at that it's cracking rod let me just turn it around maximum 50 grams comes in two pieces this handle comes apart here but you're like Steve, so what really have you got? Well, trust me, it's a match made in heaven. I've got the pen slammer. Get in there. Come on. Come on. It's the uh, uh, 3,500, 3,500 size. What an outfit that is. So I thought, do you know what? Let's see what happens. But yeah, if you ask me, this is a match made in heaven. I can tell that now. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to get this camera on my head. I'm going to just do a little bit of casting in here. And uh, see if we can pull out a pollock. Oh, clock it falling over. See if I can pull out a pollock. Right, let's do it. I've got to be so careful because this is just, this is just ridiculous. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my seat because I do not want my rod going flying in. So I've done that. So that should be okay. He says. Oh, I'm gonna be really, really careful. Cause one, I don't want to break my new rod. And it's what I really like about this rod, it's got this thing here, look. Ah oh, my phone. It's got this little bit you can Bosh, look at that. How good is that? So I just thought I'd cast in here. See if I can get out to this tidal race. It's a tidal, it's, it's coming off this land and just flying out. There's this like a line, you can see the line. So I'm gonna see if I can cast in here. I'm gonna avoid, there's a pot there. I'm gonna see if I, I'm gonna make sure I avoid that. I'm not too sure where the line goes, so I'm hoping it goes in that direction. Right, let's see what happens. Let me first of all, oh boy. I do not want to fall over on this stuff. I will slice myself up pretty darn badly. 
I mean, yeah, I've got my decent boots on, but you can still fall over, people. Right then. And I don't want to be too far away from my rods, because uh, yeah, if it starts going off, I need to get back up there quick. Oh, no, this looks like a good bit of platform here. This bit here, where my feet are, looks sweet, doesn't it? Right then, first cast of the conflict inshore. What are we saying? more jellyfish in the water. Now, as I said, I've, I've never done this before. Literally ever. So I don't really know what to expect. God, I'll tell you what, you can really feel the tide pulling on the old, uh, on the tip of the rod. It's a strong blank, you know? Like I said, it's all throw 50. 50 grams. Now, you can feel the wind. That's why I've come around here. There was a couple marks around the side there, and I was just like, no, I don't fancy it with that wind. to lose gear I'd sort of I've, I've seen so many videos of you know you come lure fishing and you get snagged and you just have to expect it don't you so it is what it is so I'm not gonna get too downhearted can you see this massive jellyfish in front of me I don't know if you'll pick it up I've got a fish on. I thought I had a fish on then. I felt like a bit of a bump. But it's not. Ah, oh, it must be weed or something. <sighs> no, nothing. Going for a bit of a rag and squid wrap. <sighs> On a pulley panel. I can't believe I forgot me of a rod. My, the top part, top section of my rod. I've got two bottom sections. Oh, one absolute clown. Never mind. So just the one rod. And what there is, bring that down there. Yeah, 
Yes. There you go. Squid bait. I've got macro as well, but I'm gonna wait for the tide to turn. I'm gonna wait for the tide to start coming in. For I bust out the fish baits. Wait for it to get a bit later in the evening. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I have absolutely no idea. But when I last when I caught that last uh, the, the the big form back, that was the tide was coming in and it was in the evening. Pretty wild setting, isn't it? It's decent. Right, I just want to make sure I've got a good foothold. Perfect. Right, it's going straight out. this a few more casts and then I might change it to a different lure so I've got a few different ones got some soft plastics as well so yeah we'll see what happens just want to see how deep it's close in Now my braid to, uh, so I've got a knot here, um, it's braid, I haven't tied it at the edges so ignore that, I've forgotten to do that, who cares. Um, uh, braid to fluorocarbon, I've done a double uni, I think it's the double uni knot I've used. I don't know people, I don't, it feels like it's dragging along the bottom. Got that same old feeling. I can't feel anything kicking. So if I'm just bringing, bringing in a load of weed, but could be just a small form, but could be a small ray. I don't know. I can't feel anything kicking whatsoever. It just feels like a dead weight. Staying down low. Could it be a fish? Come on, baby. What have we got here then? We've got a, we've got... No. Huh. Here we go. Here we go. Two dogfish. Yep, two dogfish. Yep, two dogfish. Okay then. <laughs> Get in, I didn't blank. That's all right then. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm pretty pleased. Two dogfish on one rig. There you go. Yes. That's pretty cool, man. Well, I'm, I'm, ple <laughs> I'm really pleased. <laughs> Whoa, that's worth it. That's cool, man. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna catch. Well, here we go, we've got two dogfish. There's one, and the other one's down here. There you go. What's this one doing? Got his head out of the water. I'm getting there. It's pretty good going. Right, let's get him released. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm well pleased. Fantastic. Magic. A loving life in there. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get them released and uh, get rebaited up. 
just getting released. I'm not going to go too fast because otherwise I'm going to fall down here and bust myself. And I definitely do not want to do that. On the top, on the top, and the one's gone over there. Look at him! He's turning. Oh, swimming on the surface. I don't know where the other one's gone. He's still swimming on the surface. Oh, that's well good. Oh, oh, there you go. He's gone down. Yes! Two dogfish. Oh, whoa. Okay, quick retreat. Sorry, I nearly got swamped. So there you go. Pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rebaited up. And as I said to you a minute ago, I'm gonna cast into here somewhere. I'm just gonna stand here. It's a good platform and just give it a whacking great big cast right in here. And uh, yeah. Fingers crossed we'll have a few more fish. Yes! I'm getting a knock. It's knocking, but I'm just gonna leave it. It's literally just doing that. So I'm just gonna leave it for a second. There you go, it's doing it again. Oh, I expected more dogfish. That's just the wind. Looking for a really good positive bite. It's literally going like that. All right, so I'll go do it again. I'm just gonna leave that for a second. The tide has now turned. I, I was stood just there. Now the water's coming in over there and along there. So gotta keep an eye on for that. But you know, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm all right out here. Interesting. Right, I'm going to let that develop, and if anything happens, you will be the first to know. <laughs> yep, that's a good bite, actually. Do you know what? Do you know what? Stop it. I'm going to hook into it. And if, it's, if, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I stuff it up, I stuff it up. Oh, I've got to be careful on this stuff. Let me feel it. Oh yeah, fish on. Definitely fish on. Oh. And a snag by the looks of things. Because I'm not gaining any line at all. Neck. Whew. There's some tension on that line. Flip. Wow. That was wow. I was stood there and I've come all the way back here. That was like a gunshot. Did you hear it? Oh. Right, I'll tie a sh new shock leader. And, uh, yeah. Damn it.
I was just casting my lure and I've just, look, there, there you go, oh my goodness, that's a huge bite. I've only got 6% battery left on my GoPro. Don't rush on this stuff. Could be a nice fish, man. Oh. Oh yeah, fish on, fish on! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Come on. Could be another dogfish. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, it feels heavy. What is it? Oh, another dogfish. <laughs> Come on. Get in there. Come on. Where's that lead? Let's not get smacked over the head. Oh, he hasn't taken another one deep, has he? Can't tell. Right, let's get this up here. So as you can see, I'm pushed right up against the top here now. So I'm not gonna be here much longer, I don't think. The waves are really starting to come in, but wait, what is that rippling down there? I wonder. How's your pollock, lad? Come on. That was on rag. It's not big. Yes. <laughs> so, there you go. There you go, while well, he's staying still. Nice pollock. Yeah. Mate, I'll tell you now, I'm having <laughs> Calm, calm down. It's just a little pollock, it's fine. I'm having such a great time. Uh, so that's four, four, five, I've had five dogfish now. I've had a few off camera, only little, little pups. There, I've caught him. And now I've got this pollock. I think he's been caught before, because his mouth's a bit funny. I don't know. But there you go. Right, I'm going to get him in there just for a second. Oh. That's, that's good, man, a new species. That was just literally on straight rag. Two rag up the line, and away you go. Right, let's get him back. Yeah, as you can see, I'm being pushed right up now. So I'm going to have to be careful how I release them because the waves are coming. Whoa, flip. The waves are coming in from th that direction and they're crashing over. So I've got to, and this stuff's getting slippery because it's getting wet. So to be honest with you, I think I might be down to the last cast. Oh, I don't want to chuck him in too bad. Right, here we go. Wait for a wave. Oh, he's he's shot down. Oof. What a session. I'm having a great time. This is what it's all about, I'll tell you now. It's fantastic. Cracking amazing location. Amazing location. What more could a guy ask for, honestly? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do one more cast because this is getting a bit sketchy now. Like the waves are coming up here, but every now and then there's like a rogue wave and it comes crashing over and all of this is getting slippery as hell now so I'm probably going to do one more cast well I thought you know what I thought you know what I might as well sign off here I've got all my stuff in the in the bag just got to close my box and I've got to make it up there great times I'll tell you what to think I was all the way down there there's another set of rocks underneath here oh look at this And you've got to think it's only eight o'clock. There's another two, uh, uh, two and a half hours of the flood. It's going to be all the way up there. Crazy. But do you know what? I've had an absolute blast. I've had so much fun. All right, I've lost two sets of gear and stuff, but as I said before, you've got to expect it. It is what it is. Um, I think what happened was I, I let it, I brought it up and then there's a set of rocks just here by, by my feet. And I think it's got wrapped, the line has got wrapped up in the rocks. 
there's definitely fish on there, hundred percent. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Um, I'm gonna go to Amlock first thing in the morning, um, and then after I've finished that, I'm gonna go to Tebbles Tackle and get a bit more gear. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But you know what? I like to say. Thank you for watching the LRS Fishing. I really appreciate it. I'm at um, 900, 905 subscribers, something like that. So if you could, if you could subscribe to my channel, it'd mean the world to me. Um, I really want to get to that thousand subscribers, of, as I've said in my other videos. So um, with your help, I'll get there. So again, I'd just like to say thank you for watching the LRS Fishing. I'm going to get off this rock. But you know what? Wherever there's water, I'll be there. Catch you later, guys.